What is going on guys, James Merlot here, back again with yet another video. And in this video, we're finally going to be going ahead and doing the official DSL video that I've been promising you guys for months now, it feels like. I actually think it has been months. But basically, I'm going to go ahead and take my time to try and cover everything DSL related all in one video where people don't have to go ahead and watch a whole bunch of my videos just to get all the information. Now I'm going to try and do it all in one video, but knowing me, I'm probably going to go ahead and forget something. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to head down into the comment section, but be sure to watch the entire video before you do so because I might have actually answered it. But anyway, I'm going to be dividing this video up into five different topics. So if you guys just want to know something specific, feel free to head down into my pinned comment down below where I will leave some timestamps for you guys to refer to. So you guys don't have to listen to the other four topics and only listen to the topic that you guys actually want to know. Okay, which means you guys are probably going to want to go ahead and skip this first topic because it's the plain and boring one, which is the history and reason for the DSL. So the history of it is, is that the DSL first came about early 2019, okay, right after the arena update, which was December 2018. Now, the reason for this was because before the arena update, the only way we were really able to sell vehicles was if we took them into Los Santos Customs and sold them. But then if we tried to go ahead and take another vehicle in and sell it, we would be given a notification saying uh, we are not currently accepting any more vehicles at this time. Please come back later. Okay. And so we would have to wait 48 minutes in real life, which is one in-game day to be precise, before we could go ahead and sell another vehicle. However, the arena update changed all of that. We were now able to sell vehicles within the arena workshop. And not only that, but we could sell as many as we wanted without having to wait. I still remember when we were able to go ahead and duplicate hundreds of vehicles and sell hundreds of vehicles every single day, making hundreds of millions of dollars. And it it was glorious. I, I wish we could go back to those days. Can somebody please get me a 2018 edition of GTA Online, specifically December um, 25th? How's that sound? Christmas Day. Anybody got one? No? Okay. Well, it looks like we're just going to have to deal with it. So... Basically, we were now able to sell as many as we wanted, and of course, Rockstar could not accept that. So what they did was, they went ahead and installed the DSL algorithm, because they were not able to rewrite that mistake, they weren't able to patch it, so they instead introduced a DSL algorithm. I think they purposely designed it so that we could sell as many as we want, so that they could also catch out glitches, personally, in my own opinion. But anyway, they installed the DSL algorithm where we were no longer able to sell as many as we wanted. And because of that, we now decided to go ahead and make a whole bunch of alt accounts determining the limitations of the DSL and how many we can sell before we go ahead and hit it, what the penalties were, and basically all of the information mumbo jumbo that I'm about to offload onto all of you guys in the rest of this video with the other four topics. So let's move on to the second topic of this video, which is the effects of the DSL. So basically, when you hit the DSL, you will be slapped with a message saying you have reached the daily sell limit, okay? Cool, come back the next day, you can sell some more vehicles, right? wrong okay so you're only going to be able to sell one or two maybe three if you're lucky before you hit the dsl again and then you're going to have to go ahead and wait until the next day before it says hey you have reached a daily sell limit after only selling one vehicle now the reason for this is because when you hit the dsl you get placed into a penalty period okay and i have divided the penalty period up to two different topics okay the clean penalty period and the dirty penalty period because there are two different types of penalty periods. The clean penalty period is when you hit the DSL selling clean vehicles, whether that be clean duplications, legitimately purchased vehicles or vehicles you got from frozen money glitch. Okay, If you hit the DSL selling those, it's a clean penalty period. However, if you sell dirty duplications, such as duplications from uh, the gift cards to friends glitch, Okay, then you're going to get put into a dirty penalty period when you hit the DSL. Okay, 
So it's a lot easier to hit a dirty penalty period than it is to hit a clean penalty period because you don't have to sell as many vehicles. And on top of that, the dirty penalty period is a lot more harsher in terms of its uh, penalty than it is for the clean penalty period. Now, let's go ahead and get into that. So the clean penalty period is as follows. You guys are going to have to wait two to four weeks before you serve your clean penalty period. Okay, there's no way around it. There's no glitch or step-by-step -step process where you guys can eliminate your DSL. You guys have to serve the penalty period. There's no other way. So don't bother asking, how do I get off the DSL? I'm answering it right now. You have to serve the penalty period. It's legitimately the only way. So if you hit a clean penalty period, it'll be four weeks. Okay, I'm going to say four weeks right now. Okay, and if you hit the DSL again the next day, you guys are going to have to wait a total of five weeks. If you hit the DSL again the next day, it's going to be six weeks. It increases by one week every time you hit the DSL consecutively like that. Okay, and in that penalty period, you cannot sell any vehicles. However, you do not need to log on to GTA every single day. You guys can go ahead and take a break from GTA if you want to go ahead and play another game. What do people play these days? Do people still play Fortnite? I never played Fortnite, but do they still play Fortnite? Go ahead and play Fortnite or Ark or whatever. I don't care. You guys can go ahead and play a different game if you guys want. Okay. But you guys don't have to log on to GTA every single day. Now, for a dirty penalty period, it's a little bit different in terms of the amount of time, okay? So if you hit a dirty penalty period by selling dirty duplications, the first DSL is going to be three months, okay? You're going to have to wait three months before the penalty period is served. However, if you hit it a second time, it's not like you have to wait three months and one week. You have to wait nine months in total, and then after that, it's like 18 months, which is absolutely ridiculous. And I really hope nobody, and I mean nobody, you know, hits the dirty penalty period ever again. But that's me being optimistic because I see every single day people getting screwed over by, you know, other YouTubers not informing them. Oh, by the way, these are dirty duplications. If you sell them, you're fucking fucked. But anyway, oh, I should do a rage video one day. It'd be fun. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. So basically, you guys will kind of get screwed if you guys hit a dirty penalty period. Okay, which now goes into the next topic of this video, which is what to do if you hit the DSL. Okay, so if you hit a clean penalty period or a clean DSL, you're pretty okay. Okay, just serve out the penalty period, wait... And you'll be fine. Whereas if you guys hit a dirty penalty period, you guys might have to consider a few different options. Option number one, you serve your penalty period. Okay, plain and simple. You serve your you serve your penalty period. Okay, you know you've got to wait nine months. Okay, that's the least likely that people are going to do. To be honest. The next option, which is the next least likely, but it's more likely than the other one, is that you make a new account. Okay, so make a new account if you guys want to go ahead and keep on doing duplication glitches in the future, but only sell clean duplications. Feel free to make a new account, and that way you guys can, you know, get back on top within a month. Whereas the third option is probably the one that you guys are probably going to want to go with most commonly, which is... Resign yourself to selling only one dupe per day. Okay, so you will still be allowed to sell one dirty duplication every single day. Do not worry, at the time of this recording, you will not get banned by Rockstar if you guys get caught selling dirty duplications. You won't get account wiped, you don't you won't get account reset, money wiped, or anything like that. You guys would simply get your DSL restricted. Okay, so that's the only thing that you guys really have to worry about. Now, moving on to the next part is how to avoid the DSL. So basically, you guys can avoid the DSL simply by following a simple formula, okay? So before I get into that, I'm going to explain why it works like this, okay? So when you make a new account, you guys are going to be allowed to sell uh, 20 to 30 vehicles, okay? The least amount of vehicles recorded back when we were testing this back in 2019 was uh, 12 or 13. The highest number was like 42 or something, okay? 
but the most common numbers range between 20 and 30. So 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, okay? Those were the most common numbers. Now, does that mean, like, say, for example, your limit is 20. Let's make the limit 20. Does that mean you can sell 19 vehicles, then come back the next day and sell another 19? No, it does not, okay? So what I want you guys to imagine right now is a bar, okay? At the top, it says 20. At the bottom, it says zero, okay? And there are increments of one going up the bar, okay? Each increment indicating you selling a vehicle, okay? So if you sell one vehicle, you go up to the first increment. You sell a second vehicle, you go up to the second increment. If you sell a third vehicle, you go up to the third increment and so on and so forth, okay? Now, if you hit that 20, like that 20th increment at the top there, you hit the DSL. So you sell 19, right? You sell the 19th, you're at the 19th increment, you haven't hit the DSL, you got goddamn close to it, but you sold a whole bunch of vehicles. What a lot of people think happens is when they come back the next day, those increments have gone back down to zero, which is not the case. In, in, instead, what actually happens is it only goes down to 18, 17, 16, maybe 15 and then you go in the next day thinking you can sell another 19 vehicles and when that happens you go 16 17 18 19 boom 20 you've hit the dsl after only selling like five vehicles okay so you can't sell vehicles like that on a long-term basis on a long-term regular basis so instead what you're going to go ahead and do is this okay so after a lot of testing and calculation, we were able to finally deduce that we could sell between six to eight per real life day, okay? Uh, everybody else had their own different answers. Me personally, I came to the answer of eight, okay? Along with a whole bunch of other people, a whole bunch of other people came to the conclusion of seven. And then there was this weird few people who were like, no, it's six, it's six. And it's like, Mate, um, seven and eight here are saying seven and eight. You you want to say six? Y yeah, well, that's that's the conclusion we came to. Okay, look, the nerd corner's over there. Um, yeah, get out of our sight. Anyway, aside from that, okay, so yeah, seven or eight per day, real life, and one hour in between in real life as well. So you have to wait one hour in between each of your sales as well. Okay, sadly. Now, the reason why you have to wait a, a whole hour, and I'm sorry if you guys are hearing me breathe a lot more and a lot more, it's just that I've currently been rambling without water or Coca-Cola for nearly 13 minutes now, and I'm starting to get sweaty. Oh my god, this is such a workout. My throat is killing me, but let's try and get this video over with. But anyway, what was I talking about again? Oh yeah, that's what I was talking about. So we came to the conclusion, six to eight per day with one hour in between. And then, you know, the one hour is based on the original cell limit, which was we would have to wait one in-game day, which was 48 minutes in real life. Okay, now we say one hour because it's easier to keep track of when you guys can go ahead and sell your next vehicle. Okay, so it's better than saying, okay, I sold my vehicle at four o'clock i can sell my next vehicle at 4 48 okay that's one that one's easy okay when do you sell your next vehicle <laughs> okay it's it, it's fairly easy to work out but it's easy to work out one hour by one hour by one hour in case you guys were wondering it's like uh 5 36 or something that the next vehicle could be sold anyway but aside from that, okay, you guys can go by the one hour basis, okay, which is easy to keep track of. I sold my vehicle at four. I can sell my next one at five. I sold my vehicle at five. I can sell my next one at six. It's so easy to keep track of. Anyway, so it's six to eight per day, one hour in between. And this is a common question. Is it 24 hours from the first sale or 24 hours from the last sale? The answer to that is... It's kind of neither. It's mostly just a new Rockstar day. Like, if I were to give a solid answer on that, just do it based off of the first sale. Or if you want to be safe, base it off of the last sale. Okay, I personally do it from the first sale. But you guys can do it from the last sale if you guys want to. Okay, so if you sold your last dupe at 9pm, if you want to be safe, you can sell your the next day's first dupe at one uh, at 9 p.m okay you guys can feel free to go ahead and do that it's totally up to you
<sighs> Man, I'm getting tired. Can somebody please get me a Coca-Cola? <sighs> anyway. Uh, after this, I'm going to totally rest my voice. I am so sorry, guys. But anyway, aside from that, I can't really think of too much else. Okay? So, hopefully I didn't really miss anything. Okay? I really hope I didn't because I actually put in a lot of work for this recording now because this video is currently twice as long as I normally do them. And my throat is killing me. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like. If you guys did not enjoy the video, feel free to leave a dislike. Okay? And if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to go ahead and head down into the comment section down below and ask your question. If I'm looking at my phone, I'm going to answer it immediately. Okay? If I'm sleeping, there's not a whole lot I can do until I wake up. If I'm having a shower, it'll take a few minutes before I answer your question. You get the idea. But anyway, aside from that, if you guys have any legitimate criticism about this video, then feel free to. But if you're going to say, oh, why are you breaking the fourth wall all this time? I'm going to say, because it's my video. I like breaking the fourth wall. Anyway. And if you guys haven't already, feel free to go ahead and subscribe and ring that notification bell. I do have a few videos lined up if you guys are new to the glitching community that can go ahead and help you guys out. So feel free to subscribe and ring the notification bell. That way you will receive a notification for when those videos go ahead and come out. But aside from all of that, there isn't really much else I can really say. So I'm going to go ahead and time this perfectly. I have been James Merlot, and I will see you guys in the next video of Vita Zen.